Now, we just got word a few moments ago that the North Korean dictator has ordered rocket units on standby to fire at American bases in South Korea and the Pacific. This is apparently in retaliation for the U.S flying stealth bombers over South Korea earlier today. The North has become increasingly belligerent since it tested a nuclear weapon last month and yesterday it cut off all telephone hotlines that were set up to prevent military misunderstandings. Major Garrett is following the developments at the White House for us. Good afternoon. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel today said North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un is increasing the risk of war. I think they're very provocative actions and uh, uh, belligerent tone. Uh, uh, it has ratcheted up uh, the danger. Late Wednesday, two American B-2 stealth bombers flew from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri and dropped dummy bombs over a South Korean training target. The goal of this demonstration of American air power? Deter North Korean aggression. It is not unusual for North Korea to threaten war when the U.S. and South Korea carry out joint training exercises. But the White House views Kim as an unpredictable figure. We have to take seriously uh, every uh, provocative, bellicose word and action that this new young leader uh, has taken so far since he, he's come uh, to power. One sign this could all be North Korean bluster? The North has kept open a key industrial park where hundreds of South Koreans do business every day and where global trade produces roughly $2 billion for the isolated nuclear power. White House officials tell us they've dramatically stepped up communication with the South Korean government as well as the new governments in Japan and China. Scott, the administration is looking for allies throughout the region to impress upon North Korea. It is playing a very perilous game. Major, thank you.